Hey guys, this is my review on the XL XLEX 3mm booty. Um, I want to start by saying that I'm not endorsed by XL or any surfing company to be giving this review. Um, this is my entirely honest opinion on a product which I bought and used myself out of my own choice. It's also important to understand that I bought these in 2014, so at the time of doing this review they're almost two years old, so they've been surfed quite a lot. This isn't just a look at the features, as you'll get on a lot of surf websites which say review, and then just give you a rundown of what's on the product. I will start by giving a rundown on the actual features on the product, but then I'll give you what I actually think of them. So firstly looking at the boot, this differs to the other boots that I've had in the past in that rather than two straps having one over the top of the foot and one over the ankle area, it's got one strap here right across the ankle which kind of pulls around on both sides on the under and ankle side. Uh, I've got to say I really liked it, it was a bit, I'm not, I don't want to say quicker because it's not like doing two straps takes forever. but. I found it quite comfy how it came over your ankle and it supported that area. Other features, you've obviously got the rubber sole that you get on a lot of boots. It's not as detailed as some boots which sort of have different grips in different areas and different tread patterns. It just is a standard straight tread pattern. Some guys will prefer that. It gives you a bit more of a flat feeling onto the board so you get more of a natural feeling than with the ones with a textured bottom. Uh, some guys, I think I prefer the textured bottom, just gives a bit more grip. The tapes on the inner seams and stitched on the outer seams. Uh, as far as I can see with no flash lining or anything special like that, it is just straight neoprene. So what do I think to them? I've got to say, I've not ended up using them an awful lot because we, I surf in, in our summer, our water gets to about 15 to 17 degrees. Um, you can surf without them for a period and then once the water starts coming down, I end up jumping straight to my thicker boots. These do let a bit of water in compared to the other boots that I've got at the moment, the Rip Curl Flash Bomb ones, which I've got a separate review on. However, I kind of expect it, and I don't know if that's because the seams are letting water through or if it's because simply because the neoprene is thinner so it's obviously going to let water through easier than thicker neoprene would. Um, it's not something I really think ruins the product um, and it's something I only felt initially when getting into the sea. It's not something that you feel all the way through the session. So they're perfectly good but I'd recommend them mainly in the slightly warmer conditions. They're not one of those boots that although it's this free mill can actually take you a lot deeper into winter or into colder water than you'd expect. They kind of do just do what they say on the tin. That said they are really comfy. I love this strap over here. If you're looking for comfort and don't need something too warm, if you're looking for something a little bit warm that I would say it's worth maybe having a look at some other makes and models. XL themselves have loads of different boots on the market uh, and some others that I'm sure are much warmer than these. Cheers for taking the time to watch guys. If you like the review please press like uh, and subscribe for more videos, news, reviews and opinions in the future. Um, they'll all be coming on the channel shortly. If you've got any opinion of your own on these boots or any other similar boots please pop it in the comments below. It'd be brilliant to share your opinion too. Uh, thanks a lot and I'll see you soon. Cheers.